Hello everyone, this is Stan from Nova Star Training Team and this is my colleague Lei, who Hi. is a very experienced engineer of Nova Star. And today we bring you a brand new all human product, Nova Pro UHD. And we'll cover the features and see why we need this Pro UHD. Hi Lei, mm -hmm. I heard that you've made a video about Pro UHD Junior before, is that right? Yeah, I have made a Pro UHD video two weeks ago about the features and applications. Okay, this sounds very similar. Are mm -hmm. there any same features or functions? Exactly. Both of them are 4K all-in-one products which technically integrates the functions of LED controller and video processor. But they also have many different features. Mm -hmm. Basically, Pro UHD is more advanced. After watching this video, you should understand more features about uh, Pro UHD and the differences between them. Right. The Pro UHD is a new all-in-one controller combining mm -hmm. the video processing, mm -hmm. video control, and LED screen configuration functions into one box. Mm -hmm. It supports a large pixel capacity as real 4K by 2K at 60Hz, and the powerful image processing capabilities as up to 6 layers maximum. And to support the layer creation and the screen configuration, the Pro UHD has a built-in master VI smart platform. With this platform, you can perform the screen configuration simply via a mouse, keyboard, and a monitor. Absolutely. And thanks to the powerful video processing and the sending capabilities, this product is well suited for the high-end rental applications, mm -hmm. stage control system, mm -hmm. and the fine pitch LED display. Yes. So today, we will share more detailed features of this Pro UHD. Yes, and we'll go through some uh, help questions that we got from uh, our clients these days. So first, let's check the device together. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So on the front panel, there are several sections. The first one is the layer sections. Uh, check from here, we have six layers maximum. The clients can just press the button to enable or disable the layers. And the second one is the source sections. We could know the status of all the sources and apply them on our screen. So the third one is the LCD and the knob and ESC button. So we can use the knob to use the easy configuration menu inside the panel and to do the layer configuration, the LED screen configuration, everything you need. The last section is the function section, which are some shortcuts for the specific functions like the phrase the screen add the logo, to add the background or tick button. Okay, for the front panel, uh, we also have a very small to handle things like this. Oh. Yeah, this is, is very useful and convenient That's for the right. technicians on site. Mm -hmm. They can take this handle to uh, different places to just have this heavy box. Mm -hmm. And after this uh, handle, uh, we also have a power button in front panel. Mm -hmm. Power button is for uh, you know uh, power off and on in the front panel. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the that side, uh, we have two USB ports. USB port is for connect with your PC to do configuration or upgrading firmware for this box, mm -hmm. or you know uh, it can connect the mouse or keyboard to use the VI Master. Uh, platform to uh, to inside software. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the front panel. Okay. And let's move on to the to the back panel. Sure. Okay. Oh, there are different colors to split them up. Yeah. First, so you can see the different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, different colors means different sector. Mm -hmm. So first, let's see the blue color sector. Mm -hmm. Okay. Blue section is uh, for outputs. Uh, as you can see, we have a 16 outputs RG45 protocol, which means the loading capacity is 10.4 million pixels. And for you easy understanding, uh, the UHD can load 65 square meters with P2.6 uh, panels at total. That's very uh, high load. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Big screen. And uh, for the rest, uh, we have output. We have uh, AUX and MVR. It's also supported. And uh, we also have OPT. 
OPT1 to OPT4, which is the same as uh, Pro UH Junior. OPT1 can transmit the data from uh, OP1 to OP8, and OPT3 can transmit the data from uh, OP9 to OP16, and OPT2 and OPT4 is a uh, backup or copy mode to the OPT1 and 3. This is the, how the logic of the Yeah, those are the fibers for long distance transmission, right? Yes. Uh, this this is the OBT is for long distance transmission as well. Okay. Yeah. okay. This is all for the outputs. Yes. Basically. And for the input source, mm -hmm. there are also two sections. Mm -hmm. The first one, the green part, first one, are all the 4K sources with the 12G SDI with yes. in and loop. We have four SDI inputs and one DP 1.2 input, and also one HDMI 2.0 in and also loop out. So all of them support the real 4K source, which are 4K by 2K at 60 Hz. And another board which is replaceable, right now we show you is the four HDMI 1.3. As you know, all of them support Full HD resolution. And also if customer wants DVI, we also support another Board, we just uh, uh, replace it to the new board, and then we will have four DVI input source. And also, one interesting part is the indicators right here. So, if there is a, a source detect successfully, the indicator will be light up, and if it's not, the light will be off. So that is a very interesting part. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, so technically, the input is replaceable. So I can use more signal than than the than the current stickers. That's right. right. We don't have okay. limitations. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so next uh, important part is a control protocol, as you can see for, from here. Uh, this part is a control protocol, as you can see. Uh, the UHD supports uh, the Ethernet control, USB control, and the Gene Lock. Gene Lock is for signal uh, signalization, so you don't need to worry about. Uh, the video tiering issue, things like that. And uh, the, the last one is, uh, is a small HDMI port. This HDMI port is for connecting with a, with a monitor, so you can use a VI master platform, just as I mentioned in the beginning. Um, you can see the platform uh, on the, uh, I just show you on this picture, you can see that. Uh, this is for control. And the last thing I want to introduce is the uh, power part, right? There, there are two power supply, mm -hmm. which is different than UHC Junior and other uh, boxes. Mm -hmm. The two power supply is for, for, for safe in your applications. If you uh, lost uh, your power supply on site, and you can get another uh, power supply automatically uh, generate. So uh, this is a very safe uh, design. So uh, uh, we designed this for UHD. So this is a big uh, features for, for UHD. And th this all is for um, UHD hardware introduction. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Lei. Mm -hmm. And as we all can see, all the features and the hardware design mm -hmm. gives the UHD a very handy and suitable uh, abilities to apply it in the high-end rental projects. Mm -hmm. And also for the 4K project, mm -hmm. you won't confuse anymore about how to select the controllers, how to select the video processors. That is because the Pro UHD just integrates everything in one box and also in a very cost-effective way. Yeah, uh, that's right. I think to make an integrated product is much more important than making every single unit to be stable or perfect. Mm -hmm. Because when you use an integrated one, mm -hmm. everything will be easier, like mm -hmm. software configuration, cabling, learning how stuff, techniques, and so on. And the user experience is much better than ever. I think so.